So last night we were doing People versus Phillips here, and I had locked the night, uh, even for a brief appearance, because it was such an extraordinary event. And an event, I have a PhD in religion, and, 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 and of course, also a doctorate in law, and, and one of my two specialties has been the intersection of religion and law, and religious liberty and law, and three of the four courses I now teach are on the intersection of religious liberty and law, and I teach them to three very different groups of students. I teach them to American students, by and large, here, who think the only way to relate uh, church and state is the way we discussed last night, which is this complete separation, and then I teach it to a group of Muslim students in Abu Dhabi, all Emirati, who have a tolerant society, uh, and you can have Shabbat dinner, as we do in Abu Dhabi, or you can go to Mass, uh, but they have a state religion and they wonder why you would separate church and state. And then I teach it a third section of it to a group of students who, uh, who uh, come to NYU Abu Dhabi from around the world. So I care about the issues that were here last night and I had committed myself. So I didn't accept Rachel Robinson's invitation to go to the private screening of 42 last night. Now, this is hard for me because I, on my academic gown, I have a little circle with the number 42. <laughs> and, and I'm very proud of the fact that uh, Rachel Robinson is a PhD from NYU and an honorary doctorate. And Jackie was my childhood uh, hero. And I've known Rachel uh, for, for 50 years because of a connection to my do uh, dad with, with the Dodges. Uh, and um, this O'Sexton here you're looking at, I know this is a convention of historians, and I think only Bill Nelson, my dear friend, knows this. Maybe Laurie does. Um, but this O'Sexton, and I will, I, I, I will try to get back later in the day. I do have this schedule, but this is such a great day. Uh, I actually myself am a historic figure. Uh, uh, this is something very few people know, but, <laughs> but, uh, but, but you're looking uh, at the, 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 the Jackie Robinson of the B'nai B'rith Little League. <laughs> uh, I, I broke the religion line. <laughs> uh, uh, just a little after Jackie broke the race line in, 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 in baseball. Now this connects uh, through my opening, a deum qui latificat juventutum meum. Uh, because uh, at a Jesuit high school in Brooklyn where I was formed, an Irish Jesuit priest, a great man, still alive, a mystic, a progressive, uh, wrote on the blackboard uh, in 1956, extra ecclesia nulla salus. Outside the church, there's no salvation. And when I went up as, as uh, the person that had broken the religion line uh, and asked him, uh, I'm not going to use his name, and asked him whether that meant my best friend Jerry Epstein uh, could not go to heaven, uh, he said to me, um, unless you baptize him, he will not go to heaven. Now this was before we, it was before the West Virginia primary and, <laughs> and, and, and Kennedy's presidency and John the 23rd and the Vatican Council. Uh, fortunately, uh, I had uh, extraordinary teachers who, even at that high school, were beginning to prepare me for a different mindset. And my experience in the B'nai B'rith Little League did that. And to see this weekend and the five events that are planned, and, and even if you look at the events, if you read, uh, if you read the, the letter that you wrote, uh, at the beginning, you, you make the point that, that those events are Europe and, 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 and America and the globe. And of course, that is the way the Irish have always been. And in a way, that's what we celebrate today and it's what we celebrate in Ireland House. So God bless you. Uh, may the wind always be at your back. Listen, I, I'll just be very quick. I'm Joe Lee. I'm director of Glucksman Ireland House, and I was on the program, which is why uh, I popped up there. Uh, I'll be very brief. I just want to say uh, one thing, and it's about last night. I found last night absolutely fascinating, uh, absolutely riveting in terms of something that I had no exposure to before. I'd never, uh, like I hadn't known of the trial before Marion Casey actually brought it to our attention. 
And uh, I thought it raised so many issues. And what it brought home to me in particular was um, the centrality of the Constitution in American legal thinking, which you may say that's self-evident, but it wasn't self-evident to me. And the way it was worked into the, the, uh, our, the, the excerpts last night, I thought was a revelation to me. Uh, the only other thing I want to say, and this is why I'm really up here, uh, I'm totally out of order, I'm quite sure, protocol-wise, because the thanks will be expressed at the end. Marion last night thanked a number of people for a number of things. Um, there will be thanks at the end, but I want to say that without Marion Casey, this wouldn't have been happening. Uh, if it weren't for her imagination and her dedication, uh, it wouldn't have happened. And she goes beyond the call of duty so, so normally in Ireland House, just so normally, she thinks it's normal to say, it is absolutely exceptional in my experience in terms of devotion to Ireland House and devotion to NYU. So I just want to put on record my appreciation of her contribution. And now, Laurie, yourself, okay? Good morning. Um, I'm Lauren Benton. I'm a professor of history and dean of the graduate school here at NYU and an affiliate professor in the law school. So this event and this panel brings together for me, subjects and institutions within the university that are very dear to my heart, uh, the subject of history and legal history in particular, Ireland House, which always does everything with great style and great humor, and the law school, which is uh, uh, with its wonderful faculty, and they actually also have a great sense of humor. So, um, although they're not known for it, but I can, <laughs> I can vouch for it. So, I'm very pleased to uh, introduce the, the presenters for the first panel. The title of the panel is People v. Phillips in the Context of 19th Century Constitutionalism, Religious Exemption, Evidentiary Privilege, and Catholic History. And we have a very distinguished uh, series of panelists. I'm going to introduce them all at the beginning so we can uh, move uh, from one to another, and we hope to have, uh, they'll each speak for about 15 minutes, and we'll hope to have time for some uh, questions and comments from the floor at the end. Uh, uh, Martin Burke is Associate Professor of History at the CUNY Graduate Center, uh, and is the author of numerous works, including uh, Piecing Together a Shattered Past, the Historical Writings of the United Irish Exiles in America. Uh, Jason Duncan is Associate Professor of History at Aquinas College, and uh, he's the author of uh, also many works, including Citizens or Papists, The Politics of Anti-Catholicism in New York, 1685 to 1821. Peter Gailey is Professor Emeritus of Political Science at Canisius College, uh, the author of, um, among others, uh, Ordered Liberty, A Constitutional History of New York. Um, New York, yes. I'm especially pleased to introduce my friend William Nelson, who's Judge Weinfeld Professor of Law at NYU. It would take me a very long uh, part of the day to uh, list his works, but I should signal that he's most recently at work on a four-part series on uh, the history of the common law in colonial America. Uh, and Thomas Shelley, who's Professor Emeritus of Theology at Fordham, and the author of The History of the Archdiocese of New York. So please welcome our distinguished panelists, and uh, some of them will sit and some of them may come to the podium, and welcome. Thank you. 